Hey guys, what's up? This is Nanya from Tech Barrack Solutions, and today in this Windows tutorial, we are going to learn how we can burn a bootable disk on our Windows OS. And this is very simple. And what exactly is a bootable disk? Bootable disk is one in which we load up the image file of uh, something like, let's say, the operating system, so that whenever we uh, boot up the disk in the beginning, the we can install our operating system. And today I am going to use the image file of Ubuntu which is a Linux operating system and usually the image files are of the extension .iso so first of all let me just show you that I have got the ISO file of Ubuntu 11.04 that's an ISO format so there are two ways in which we can burn a you can say burn a bootable disk on Windows operating system the first method works only for Windows 7 so it's very simple what we need to do is wherever you find the uh, ISO file just right click on it and then click on open with in open with select Windows disk image burner and then once you do that just select the dri disk drive usually usually uh, every uh, la Windows laptop or desktop has one drive so I have got a DVD R drive which is the E drive and I can just put in my blank DVD or VCD uh, into it and I can burn it by just clicking on burn so that's the method and the second method is a method by using a software infra recorder it's a free software and this method works for all the OS's like Windows 2003 I think and uh, it works for XP it works for Vista it works for 7 and it also works for I think 98 and Windows Me. So it works almost for all the Windows OSs. That's why I like the second method more. So first of all, we require a software named, named Infra Recorder, which we can get it on CNET, that's download.com, which is of CNET. So just download it. I have posted the link in the description. I have already installed the software, so I'm not going to install it again. Just download this software. And once you download it, open up the software okay so now uh, before while opening the software I am getting this uh, something which says that infra recorder could not automatically detect the drive letter of one of your drives so you have to specify the drive letter name so you can see that my dr DVD-R drive is the E drive that's why I am going to use the E drive And uh, once you do that, Infra Recorder opens up and then what we want to do is we need to go to, we want to make a bootable disk. So we are going to go to the actions folder, actions uh, menu and you are going to click on burn image. And you, when you click on burn image, you can see that the disk images that it can detect is .iso and .cue. I don't know it's uh, also one of the I, uh, image files or format so let's locate our ISO format file that's the Ubuntu 11.04 it's located in one of my pen drives so there you go it's Ubuntu 11.04 and that's an ISO file format I'll just click on open and uh, infra recorder it says that infra recorder has detected that you have a DVD recorder installed so do you want to yes and uh, now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna verify the speed so I'm gonna keep the write speed as maximum and session at once that's fine and uh, simulation okay that's fine the settings are all fine and uh, what I'm gonna do is just click on ok so first I'll just uh, put in the CD into the CD tray and this is a VCD that I'm using because uh, Ubuntu does not require more than uh, 702 MB so that's uh, the best part of Ubuntu OS. So I'm just gonna click on OK once I do that, and the burning of image should start. And I'll be back once this image burning is finished. Okay, guys. So as you can see, that the disk has been successfully burned, and the CD tray just pops out. So now what we need to do is uh, we need to just test whether the CD has been actually burnt as a bootable disk or not so what we are going to do just close all the windows 
and after you do that we are uh, just uh, put put the CD inside the CD tray and uh, just put the CD inside the CD tray and once you have done that we are going to restart our we are going to restart our laptop so let's do that so you can see that the CD has started booting up and uh, there you go it is Ubuntu that is starting up so that's basically how you make a bootable disk guys and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial it is a very simple tutorial and any user can do it whoever wants to do that and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please rate comment subscribe and visit techbarrack.com and also visit our Facebook Twitter and Google Plus fan page.